how you were saying that y'all uh, just became a wet county yeah. just, just a little bit ago. Did you have a lot of bootlegging and stuff going oh, on yes. before? Because, oh, yeah. like, dude, yeah, over, yeah. over there in Phelps, it mm-hmm. was the same mm-hmm. exact thing. Like, it was just dry. You had to drive 45 minutes or an hour in any direction yeah. if you wanted any type of beer or yeah. anything. Well, we, I mean, to, to, to clarify, it was for, like, the Harlan City part. Now, we, we the county uh, towards Cumberland, they had... You know, they, they were wet, but they were in a different part. So yeah. uh, that's where everybody from Harlan, the city part, would drive to get their alcohol. Or they would go to Virginia. But yeah. the first place in Virginia didn't have a liquor license, so you couldn't get any bourbon or anything like that. You'd have just, yeah. it's just beer or wine. Uh, Cumberland was the way. And that's from from my house to Cumberland to the first alcohol store you could go to. It was right around 28 miles, I'd say. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, but yeah, it's it's just, it it took several rounds of voting to get that to pass. Um, but it, it finally did, and now we have two liquor stores in Harlan. Of no, course, per fine. per capita, you can only have you know a certain amount. You can only have so many stores depending on the population where you yeah. are. So uh, we we have two, and they're they're doing great right now. So, so many people look at a show, though, like Moonshiners or something like that, mm-hmm. and just say like, "Oh, that's just a TV thing," yeah. or "Oh, that was." 50, 100 years ago, that don't happen anymore. Right. No, it still happens. I, 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 I know a few. I'm not going to say anything. But, I mean, like, cops will go and buy off of them because they don't want to drive 45 minutes to the nearest place or something like that. It, it's such a and, – and everybody knows the people that are. Yeah. You know, they just don't say anything because they're buying off of them too. Right. It's, I've always enjoyed the whole – Art of moonshining, yeah. I guess, and, yeah. and and most of the time, there's some of the nicest people on earth. Oh yeah, they're just trying to make a buck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it's all it's, uh, it's I mean, I I know right off the top of my head, there's five people that I know I can go get a get a court from. You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Woo, that it's, white lightning, buddy. Yeah, man. Woo-hoo-hoo. I like mine charred though. If I had to pick between the two, I'll take mine a little bit aged in a, in, a, in an oak barrel. I I, I've always way. liked apple pie. When, when, oh, when, yeah. Dude, yeah. that is my go-to. Oh. And, and, and whenever they have the fruit in there, yeah. woo! Yeah. Oh. You, you ever been brave enough to actually eat the fruit that comes out of there? Yeah. Not a good that, idea. That's, that's, no, that, not, not, not a good idea at all. <laughs> nope, you, nope. You're better off just drinking the whole quart. Yeah. That, buddy, that fruit at the bottom will do you in more than any right. of that liquid will. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and people don't realize that. And, man, whenever I see, like, Stuff like the what's that one moonshine that they'll sell in like Walmart? Uh, they have a distillery there in Tennessee. Uh, that, that that the store bought moonshine basically. Old, old Smoky or is that what it is? Something so, like that. I can't that. remember what it was. Yeah, I, I've had that and yeah. I'm like, it's all right. It's not the same. But dude, once you've had the real thing, mm. no, it, it's not anywhere close. No, it's not. It's not. So it's uh, yeah. I, I want it in, a, in an unmarked jar. You know, I'll yeah. give it my own test. I'll spin it in the light, make sure the bubbles, you know, are there suspended. Because that yeah. means it's, it's good stuff, and uh, that's that. That's the way that I that, that I like my stuff. Now, now, don't be wrong. I, I enjoy a good cup of bourbon every now and then, but uh, you know, I I I. I enjoy I enjoy my whiskey, yeah. Yeah, I man, I, I'm I'm the same way, dude. And, and thank God for those people out there that are still pushing. And, and like you said, they're just trying to make a buck. That's one thing that so many people don't realize yeah. is you know, like in, in in some towns, that's what you got. You know, there, mm-hmm. there's not many options. Some of the people that I know that do moonshine, they had to drop out of school in the eighth grade to be able to work on the family farm mm-hmm. or whatever. They don't yeah. have. An education. They're, right. they're they're knowing what they know how to do, and they do it well, yes. my friend. Yes, I, I, I think that you know it, it's a beautiful thing. I think that our area is being noticed for, like you were saying, like the distilleries and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Because I mean, we do it good. We we we, we make some exactly. dang good whiskey exactly. here in the and and bourbon in this state. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's I'm I'm uh. I'm loving what the state's doing on on all levels. You know, I, I love I love Kentucky. I mean, it's uh, it's it, it's always gonna be home for me. 